I have some more really good news uh, today. I was able to make a motorized version of this uh, electrostatic influence generator that uh, uses a different principle than the other um, triboelectric series type of generators where you rub two uh, elements that are separated apart on the series and it creates a static charge. This is a Lord Kelvin replenisher type of theory. It's basically a uh, simplified Voss, I've decided, and there's pictures of it on uh, the web, and I think Thomas uh, Kim saw that and built the ones that he has built, but uh, it works if you turn it, of course, by hand, but uh, I put a motor on it here, and now it really does good stuff, and it'll put about a two centimeter spark out, and it'll load these capacitors up. And this is the main reason for my experiments with these is, according to what I've been reading, uh, the electrostatic generators put out the voltage, but very, very, very small amperage. But if you use a capacitor like a picofarad capacitor that's high voltage rated, you can contain the energy and run these electrostatic motors and bells, which was the very first video I did using that capacitor right there. I did these experiments with the motor and the bell. Well, I have a device now that I can put that energy uh, into these capacitors and run the motor. Let me show you how it works. I'll put the battery on it here. There goes the motor. Let me give this just a second. You might hear this going pop from time to time. The uh, arcing happens inside this generator here. You, there's a way to get around it. I just haven't done it. But you notice that little motor is just really revved up now. And I have put energy into that capacitor, that little tiny 560 picofarad 2.5 kV. That's 2,500 volts. The energy is gotten from there into there and is running the motor. Now this was the first one I built. It was handmade and uh, I was going to motorize that and decided just to build another one. I highly recommend people build one of these uh, electroscopes to study how induction, electrostatic induction works. And I learned a lot from that little, little thing right there. Okay, this is winding down now. Let me give it another jolt with this. You hear that pop. That's the arcing. Like I say, without the motor on there, I'm getting about a two centimeter spark. And uh, that is this uh, electrostatic influence induction, which this device right here is a good, a simple example of it. It's two bottles, two pill bottles with this uh, segmented type of rotor on the inside and then two aluminum foil plates on the outside and it's wired in such a way so that the uh, opposite segments get shorted at a certain point in the revolution of that and if there's a charge on that, just a slight charge, it re-energizes itself very similar to how a car alternator does and makes this electricity. It converts the mechanical work into electricity and it comes out as high voltage very very low amperage but like I say if you use the right kind of capacitor and you give it the time you can contain that energy and I'll stand by that I know it goes against what most people uh, know about electrostatic devices and stuff but I have proven it over and over and over again that you can put a charge in a capacitor from an electrostatic generator and then drive something and like I say I'm very very excited about what I found here and I hope people understand this is different than electromagnetic induction this is called electrostatic induction thanks for watching